Hi, this is Jeff from Airstream Nerds. I'm winterizing my Airstream, and I have a full winterizing video available for you guys to check out. I'll put the link down below. Um, but in that video, somebody posted a comment and wanted to know how I installed the Campco um, winterizing kit on my camper. When I get back, I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to install it. If you don't Okay, so my kit is now opened, and these are the pieces that come with it. Now, this here is the siphon hose. Now, my original one that I bought, the siphon hose came together, already crimped together. I guess they've redone it to where you have to jam this into the siphon hose, and this would be your siphon hose. So we can put that to the side. You can, you can use this um, because I already have one. But these are basically the parts that you're going to need. This is the valve that um, turns on the siphons. You would keep this in this mode for regular use. It's just a pass-through valve. And then when you turn it this way, the pump pulls from the siphon. So when we're, when we're doing the winterizing, I'll hook this up to the valve put this in into my antifreeze and start the pump now let me get set up and i'll show you what we got underneath okay once you've located your pump you're going to look for the i think this is a pressure regulator i'm not exactly sure what this piece is but you're going to look for the pipe where that piece is coming off of your pump so you can see it's a 90 degree here and it's got a little stub and then it goes into this regulator and then coming out of the regulator you have a hose like this this hose here with just a thumb screw on it um tied to um that regulator so you can do is you're gonna take the take the pot the hose this hose here and you're gonna pull it off of the the regulator then you're gonna take this coupler you're going to put some Teflon tape over the threads and you're going to tighten this coupler on there. Then you're going to take your valve, do the same thing. You're going to put the valve on that. Then you're going to take the hose that you took off of the coupler, uh, of the regulator, and put it right back onto your valve, your new valve. Um, what you're going to try to do is get the valve, the, the suction, the the, the part with the cap sticking out to where you can access it because when all is said and done and you are ready to do your winterizing which I'm going to do right now I'm going to flip the lever that way I'm going to get my pair of pliers make sure they're opened a little bit and I'm going to loosen that up. I'm going to take the cap off. Now the cap has a rubber gasket in it. Rubber gasket looks good. I'm going to take my suction hose, which I'm going to use my original one, not the new one here. And I'm going to thread that on there, making sure that I don't cross thread everything. I'm going to snug this thing up with my hands. Then I'm going to put my channel locks back on here. I'm trying to do this right. And I'm just going to basically. Just turn it a little bit like I just did. I just want to make sure that it's it's snug enough. And then all I'm going to do is pop this into the RV, just like I or into the antifreeze, the RV antifreeze, just like I did before, and pump that throughout my um, system. And then I'll be winterized. 
Once again, this is Jeff. And Jenny. And we're the Airstream Nerds. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, put any comments below, and we'll see you on the next trip.